Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mike Chu, a physical therapist, certified dementia practitioner, and your alternative career coach. Welcome to our career healthcare podcasting show where we talk about different ways to find your alternative career and achieve both work and financial freedom. So visit our website, drmikechua.com or alternativehealthcarecareers.com for more information. Again, thank you for watching and listening. Welcome to our show. Be awesome, be great, be excellent, ACG. Have a great day and enjoy the show. Bye-bye. are streaming live in our alternative careers group good evening good evening good evening ladies and gentlemen of the awesome group alternative careers group this is dr mike chua your alternative career coach yes we have a special guest today it shows her name is ritz but her real name is Maria Ray. She's actually my student right now. Who is going to teach us how she created her book and how to improve your influence and impact as a DPT student. Well, again, if you are watching live, please comment live. If you're watching on the replay, please comment replay. I'm going to stop that share. I just wanted to show it to you guys. All right. And that way you could see my uh, uh, current mentee. Is that what you say? Mentee? When, yeah. when I'm the mentor and you're the mentee. Is that correct? Correct. 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 So again, today we've got a special guest. Her name is Maria Ray. R-E-Y, not R-A-Y, but R-E-Y. So she is from Florida. She's actually a current student. But before I keep going, I just would like to give a shout out to those people who are watching. Sharon, thank you very much for watching. And Daniel, thank you very much for watching. We appreciate you. And again, if you are watching live, please comment live. If you're watching on the replay, please comment replay. And I, wa I want to know if, uh, if, we're, if you're there, right? If you're there. Well, anyway... Uh, uh, we I invited the, my current student Maria to help us, you know, help us with uh, what she's, you know, learn from her what she's been doing right now, because uh, uh, we want to know what uh, what being a mentor is. So Maria, could you tell us what do you do and uh, what's your plan in the future and uh, how are you planning to move on forward with your current uh, situation? Well, I wanted to say at first, thank you, Mike, for giving me this opportunity. Um, so right now I'm in my second internship. I have one more to go, uh, in the fall. And after that, then I take my boards. I think what I'm planning on doing is trying out travel, travel physical therapy. So I can kind of get an idea as to where I want to go and what I want to do and just kind of travel the world as I'm doing it. So that's where my head is at right now. Perfect. Imagine that as young as her, she already has some plans in life, right? So that is very good, ladies and gentlemen. You know, uh, I, I preached this last uh, last Tuesday on our TV show called The Eye Business. If you haven't seen our TV show, we have that TV show in the Philippines called Eye Business. Please follow that uh, channel. It's called The New Channel, literally, The The New Channel. But when, anyway, uh, during that uh, show last Tuesday, I told everybody that failure to plan, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And that's what I've been preaching with my students right now, you know. So she has a plan on how to move on forward with her life. So that is very good, Maria. Very good. So uh, what about your book? Tell us about your book. Why did you decide to write a book? And uh, why, why, why that topic? Um, so I, I mean, I wanted to say again, thank you. You're the one that kind of helped and pushed me towards writing this book. And, but um, what I really wanted to focus on and I wanted to share with people is just how to go about figuring out what to do if you have knee pain, because I'm pretty sure we all have knee pain. Um, I'm somebody who has had knee pain for years and I've had to like figure out different things to alleviate it. 
Um, obviously going to physical therapy school has taught me a lot and had, I just wanted to go ahead and share this with everyone. So that way, hopefully it can help them as well. Perfect. Perfect. I don't know if you noticed, ladies and gentlemen, she chose to write that book. Let me flash it real quick. You know, let me show it real quick. Just do some bragging here for Maria. See, that's her book. It's already available in Amazon. 25 tips for tackling knee issues. Basically, tackling is just like, you know, a pun there, right? Tackling knee issues. So hard to say that. Tackling knee issues. Well, anyway, look at what she did there. She, she has a passion of personal training. She likes personal training. And she had that problems with her knee. Guess what? That's her story. Nobody can steal that from her because that's her story. And from that story, you can develop your own book out of it. And that's what Maria did. You know, that's what she did. She found that passion of hers and then bam, she's got that book already. How does that work? You follow that mentor method, the mentor method. What's the mentor method? The M-E-N-T-O-R, letter M, letter M is obviously is meet a need. What's that? What's that need? What's that niche? You know, you have to find that passion. You have to find that purpose in life. So in, in her case, it's me. So I said, well, go ahead. Write a book about niece, you know, about your nephew and nieces. <laughs> I have a joke, right? What is the what is the closest relative of your niece? What is it? Your it's uncle. <laughs> it's a joke. Uh, ha 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 ha. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. So, uh, where were we at? So, her passion is her knee. It, it's, it's the knee. It's on the niece. So make sure, you know, focus on those, you know, people who have knee replacement, people who have ACL injuries and focus on that of that specific niche. Letter M, meet a need, meet a need. What's the next letter? What's the next letter? It's letter E. You have to learn how to educate. How do you educate your audience? You educate them by writing your book. You educate them by doing podcasts, creating a show like this, creating a YouTube channel, creating some uh, informational stuff, you know, so educate. Educate. What's the next letter? Letter N is network. She's going to network with different knee people, people who have uh, knee groups, uh, people who have knee replacement. So that's what I recommended her to find a group of people who can who she can network with. And then what's the next letter is letter T. What's the T, uh, Maria? You remember? Team. Team, a team of people that will actually push you to your next level because you are the average of the five people you hang out with. So whoever she hangs out with, guess what? That's going to be her. So she needs to find people who is actually the same like-minded as her. And then what's the next letter? It's letter O. What's the letter O, Maria? You remember? Oh, I don't remember. That's letter I. I, I don't remember. <laughs> letter O is one-on-one -on -one coaching. Once she's graduated physical therapy, guess what? What's what's what she's gonna do with her patient? She's gonna do a one-on-one -on -one treatment with those knee patient. And guess what? When she hands her her book, once she hands her her book on that patient, guess what? Guess what? They're gonna believe her because she has a book, right? She's gonna instant authority. If you want an instant authority, of course, first you get you have your title, you have your diplomas and everything, your certification. But if you want to stand out, if you want to be the authority in that specific field, guess what? You need to be an author. And that's what Maria has done. You know, she has become an author and become an authority in her field as early as now being a, a DPT student. She hasn't even graduated yet. What more for you guys, ladies and gentlemen, who are watching right now, right? Who are watching right now. And what's the last letter? It's letter R. Letter R. What's letter R, Maria? For recurring revenue. Recurring revenue, right? I recurring revenue. I thought you were gonna say Ray. <laughs> <laughs> so it's recurring revenue. That book that she has, the book that she has, it's actually a repeat and recurring revenue. It's a repeat and recurring revenue. When she says, Hey, you know, just grab my 25 tips in my in my in my in, in Amazon, guess what? It's a repeat and recurring revenue. When she has created her own course. Out of that book that she created, you know, she, I recommended her, hey, create your own course, create a PowerPoint presentation, create a, a webinar, create a live educational, uh, uh, what you call this, uh, lectures. 
and record yourself and resell it, guess what? That's your repeat and recurring revenue. And that's what I recommend, Maria, the mentor method. Find a mentor that will actually push you to your next level. So M-E-N-T-O-R. Uh, Maria, before I keep going, I know I like talking, right? I mean, you you ride with me in my car like 24-7, right? So uh, could you give us like two or three tips about in your book? I mean, can you share us uh, that with your in your book? Um, of course. So the way that I kind of laid out the book, I put, I mean, obviously when people pick up books, you look at the front and even if you don't read the rest of it, you read the first couple of pages, which is where I left like the most important information, I feel like. So um, I think it's really important that when you're trying to figure out what's causing your knee pain, a lot of us have to look at the feet, like are our shoes giving us enough support? What kind of foot do we have? Um, do we have over pronated feet, which meaning do we have flat feet? Do we have feet that are supinated, which means that we put more pressure on the outside? So it's really important to figure out if you're wearing proper shoes. Obviously, a lot of us like to wear flip flops and and things like that that are just kind of like comfortable. Why but are you looking really at me us. when you say flip flops? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm Filipino wearing flip flops. I but wear I tennis shoes too. when we work, right? <laughs> Well, I mean, I know a lot of people like wearing them because they're comfortable, but if you're going to be walking in flip-flops all day long, guess what? It's not giving your feet the support that it needs. And that's probably why at the end of the day, people have swollen feet, their feet hurt. You need to protect your feet. You need to look at the from the bottom up and assess and see like maybe it's as simple as changing out your shoes like, and it can alleviate your knee pain and knee symptoms that are being aggravated. Amazing. Amazing. Before I uh, harp on that, I just want to give a shout out to Mr. Jimmy McKay. Mr. Jimmy McKay, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you. And I don't know if you guys know Mr. Jimmy McKay. It's an honor for him to for him to watch me right now because he's. if you guys don't know Jimmy McKay, you got to just know him. He's just a really, really good guy that has this really, really, really awesome podcast called MPTE StudyCast. So if you are a student right now, you got to oh, watch wow. him, Mr. Jimmy McKay. Well, anyway, I just want to harp on what uh, Maria mentioned there. You, you look what, what she did. She did like two or three tips there. Two or three tips. She became an instant authority. She became an instant authority there. She is, I'm not saying just a student. She's a student right now. But look at her confidence confidence level. It boosted up. It boosted up. Oh, Mr. Jimmy, uh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. It's, it's my honor, sir. Uh, so look at what she did. She's a student right now. She wrote a book. It's not a big book. It's, it's a small, thin book. It's not even a, a, a textbook. It's not even a, a big book. There's not even a reference. There is a reference, right, Maria? You know, it's not even a big, thick book, but it's just a 25-page book. But if you hand this out to your patient, instantly you become the authority. And you yourself, if you have a small book in, in your mind, you become what you call, you know, you, you, you're like, oh, gosh, I'm an author? Really? I mean, my book is, is, is very small. I know, Maria, you saw my book, right, Maria? It's a I small it. book, right? But it creates yeah. an instant rapport with your patient. And every time I go to a patient's house, oh, it's a Filipino guy coming in. Oh, coming in, and she's short, and I don't know what he's doing here. But if I come in and I bring my book, oh, by the way, here's a copy of my book. Uh, go ahead and read it about dementia. Bam. They're like, oh, I'm talking to an author. And I would tell them, hey, uh, I don't have one book. I have like five published books and we still got, you know, we got more books coming out. And they'll be like, oh, gosh. And you saw that, Maria, right? When we're yeah. talking to some of, the, some of our clients, they'll be like, oh, gosh, uh, this guy really knows what he's doing. But actually, really not, you know, <laughs> it's just because of the book. And I have somebody who's guiding me and mentoring me. You know, if you really want to be a good player. Kobe Bryant, like Michael Jordan, like Stephen Curry. Is that Stephen Curry? Or St okay, Steve, yeah, or, yeah. Right. you know, or, or, or Peyton Manning. They have a coach. They have a mentor. So you need to find a mentor, ladies and gentlemen. You need to find a mentor. Somebody's actually doing it in that way. They can guide you. 
how to push on forward and be the best that you can be. Like what we're, we're like like what we're doing with Maria. Like what what like blah, blah, blah. like what she's doing <laughs> to me. She's mentoring me. She's teaching me. Oh, Michael, you know, not supposed to eat that. Freaking, I'm gonna eat this burger now. So that's what she's been doing with me because she's the person. <laughs> so, uh, oh, look at RV Vitenta saying so. Oh my gosh! Yeah, Doctor RV, thank you very much for watching. And Doctor Vitenta, <laughs> Lacey PT is watching. Thank you very much uh, for watching, RV. Um, I guess uh, we need to go uh, to go live here too, Doctor RV. We're not gonna interview. We're just gonna sing. We're just gonna sing. Doctor RV <laughs> knows how to sing. I'll be. Uh, I'll just play the music and he'll sing for us. And of course, Captain David Bailiff watching live. Thank you very much, Captain D. Again, if you are watching live, please comment live. And if you want to know more about cash-based practice, mobile practice, you got to talk to David Bailiff. He's just uh, the, he's just my mentor. You know, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing, or what I'm doing with Maria, what I'm doing right now with uh, seeing patients uh, Online, seeing patients uh, uh, live, seeing patients real time. What do you say that? At home, it's all because of David Bailiff. He was the one who pushed me. He was the one who told me, Michael, you got to do this. You got to do this. So uh, you got to reach out to him. You got to reach out to David Bailiff because he is the cash-based mobile PT guy, the uncaged clinician with Josh Payne. Well, anyway, Maria, uh, let's go back to you. Uh, I just got sidetracked. You know me. No, you're good. I'm a, I'm a, what you call this? A squirrel. Who's the squirrel? A squirrel. So, well, anyway, uh, let's go back to you, Maria. So what's the plan? What's your next goal after writing this book? What would you be doing next? Obviously, you have well, to follow the mentor method, right? I mean, yes. Um, I really like the way that you presented your business or the way that you showed me how you started up your own home health business. And I really do think that, um, once I figure out where I want to get settled after doing travel therapy, hopefully I can start up my own home health business and go from there because it's it's very inspiring, like you, the way that you started up your own business and how you've been able to reach out and all the networking you've been doing. And I think it's amazing. And you're your own boss. And at the end of the day, I think that's that's the greatest plan that you could po possibly go with. B-Y-O-B, B-Y-O-B, ladies and gentlemen, not bring your own drink. Be your own boss. Be your own boss. So not bring your own drink because Maria is like a college girl. It's like, ah, we're like going some college now. It's some <laughs> drinking. <laughs> drinking, <laughs> drinking while I'm drinking water. It's like, ah, bring your own drink. And yep, I'm bringing my, be your own boss. Be your own boss. So uh, uh, Jimmy McKay was asking, oh gosh, Maria, was there a moment where you were thinking, I want to write, but... And then that gave you a pause. If so, how did you get past it to do it? That's my that's his question. How did you do it, Maria? How did you do it? I mean, I've always thought like I've obviously always had these like knee issues, and I never really thought about writing a book and putting it together. And again, like you really helped me to kind of push me to figure out that. You, there's nothing really holding you back. Like the only person that's holding you back is yourself. And you just need someone to kind of guide you and just kind of like help you. I mean, you can do whatever you want. And I thought it was really great that you were just like, yeah, just do it. Like it didn't take that long. Just put your ideas together, have somebody make sure that it sounds okay and just publish it. And I, I thought that that was, at first I was kind of like, Oh, I don't know where to start. And like, you know, when you're brainstorming, like you have all these different ideas and you don't really know like how you want it formulated. But I mean, I literally just sat down, started figuring out what I thought was most pertinent to me, what I could share with other people, what would be really helpful with them. And after that, my book kind of just came together. It was like, a tip or two every day. Like I would come up with one or like while I was here, um, I hadn't really had time to like work out. And typically what I've noticed is that when I don't do that and then I'm just on my joints, like my knee will just give out on me. So it's like, okay, so, you know, if even if it's a little bit of movement, even if, if it's a little bit of strengthening, even if you're doing sit to stands, like it's something, it's something, just do something every day. And um, I, that's how my book kind of just came together. 
it would Amazing. just be like one thing. Yeah, it was great. Like, and I really just wanted to say thank you for helping push me to really putting all my ideas on paper and helping me publish it. Perfect. Perfect. I like what you said, you know, uh, the only person holding you back is yourself. Even Jimmy McKay, the famous, awesome Jimmy McKay, writing down notes. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching live again, comment live. If you're watching replay, please comment replay. Why? If you really want to learn, you have to learn how to take down notes. And look at Mr. Jimmy McKay. In his status, he's still writing down notes. I write down notes, ladies and gentlemen. I'm learning from Maria. I'm learning from people. And I don't know, Maria, notice it. You know, every time I'm, I'm listening, I'm writing down stuff in my notebook there. Because like what Maria said, the only person holding you back is yourself. And this is coming from a DPT student. Sometimes we have to listen to people uh, uh, outside from us. And that way we could learn from it. So we could learn from it. And I want to just harp on what, uh, on what Jimmy was asking. If you have a writer's block, you know, B-L-O-C-K, writer's block, talk to a mentor. The book boss, his name is Jeremy Sutton. He is uh, really a, 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 my, my, my good guy. He's like, uh, he guides you how to really start your own book. You know, uh, that's his name is Jeremy Sutton. He has a book. He has a group called uh, Book Boss University, something like that. And he will teach you how to do it step by step. And he has helped a lot of people how to write their books. Probably, you know, I mean, I saw his picture one time. He's got holding all these books where he helped other people publish their book. Uh, mine, I'm not that type of guy that teaches you how to write the book really step by step. I just push people. Okay, go ahead. Just write it, whatever. I'm not an English major. I don't even speak English well. Just write it. So just write it. So Maria said, like, okay, I'm going to write it. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, just, really just write it. Like, you know, like. is that how you sound like? No, I was just, I was kidding. That's probably <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> my guy. Okay, my guy. I'm typing. All right. So any last parting wisdom, uh, Maria? Um, I think one of the other takeaways uh, is that you said you kind of have a coach for Kind of every little area like so you have a coach that makes you like get better like for quality in life you have a coaching like a coach for your author you have coaches for different avenues and I think that's great I think that's a really good idea and I definitely want to take that back with me whether it's like I need someone to push me more at the gym whether it's like I need a tutor to push me more whether it's someone like you who can help me like do like learn how to make like your own CEU classes. Well, my job is finish. done. Okay. After this week, you know, you, you, you're no longer supposed to reach out to me. Okay. Just kidding. <laughs> I was going to say that's so sad. Just kidding. Well, Arby's, so looking, Arby's watching, right? So <laughs> well, he's awesome too. you can always, reach out <laughs> you can always reach out to me and they'll, I'll reply back. Who's this? So <laughs> wonderful. Thanks. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. So I'm sorry. Go ahead. Finish. <laughs> No, I mean, I was just saying, like, I think it's great. I think that everyone should kind of have someone that just pushes them in the right direction, like just makes them a better person. And you just always need, like, I think you're such a positive person and you like have such positive, uh, such a positive outlook in life. And it's very uplifting. And it's important to surround yourself with people who are positive and uplifting and that will make you feel better about yourself. Like, you don't want to surround yourself with negative people who won't believe in you. I mean, sometimes you can use that as an advantage to be like, look, I'm going to prove them wrong. But it kind of helps to start with a good foundation and having people that will support you. So I oh, think wow. the takeaway from this is good support team. So that oh, wow. uh, the N and the T and mentor there. Keys, networking and team. I really there like you those. Go. I love and what course, you said. Of course, the recurring revenue. So that, that, that doesn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I don't know if you were listening, ladies and gentlemen, but before I go back to uh, her her words that she mentioned, uh, I just want to give a shout out to David Bailiff said the truth. That's the truth. OK, that's the truth. And RV said, thank you very much for taking care of one of my best DPT students. That's good. That's Aww. good. And Captain. D. Yeah. You know, Thanks one of the best. So are you sure RV? It's Maria, not uh, Christina that you're talking about. Just kidding. <laughs> so, 
Uh, the, uh, Captain say, Captain D said, Mike Chua means positive in Filipinos. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate you. Uh, but I, I would like to correct you. Um, <laughs> I just researched this. I, I, uh, I told Maria that Chua means victory. So I think, you know, it, it's probably the same. He was just born victory a winner. Positive. Yeah. So <laughs> thank you, <laughs> Captain D. And Jimmy McKay said, prove the people who believe in you right. Prove the people who doubt you wrong. That is so true. Oh, gosh, Jimmy, I'm learning so much from you, uh, Jimmy. No wonder I keep on listening on your study cast. So no, I really cast like, awesome. yeah. Podcast it's like, is awesome. I know. It's Very like I'm on, the, I'm on the cardiovascular topic. So where are you at, Maria? We were listening to the DVT one the other day. Oh, right? the DVT. Yeah, the DVT. Deep vein <laughs> thrombosis. <laughs> he has that kind of <laughs> Well, anyway, again, thank you very much, Maria. Oh, before before I close, Maria mentioned about the word foundation. You need to have a good foundation. When you see a beautiful house, when you see a beautiful house, you don't talk about the foundation. You don't talk about the foundation. It's like, oh, gosh, that's a beautiful house. Oh, that's a beautiful foundation. No, we don't talk about the foundation. But the most important part of the house is actually the foundation. Same thing when you're walking, when you're walking a patient. What's the what's the best thing that you you always analyze when you're walking a patient? Their foundation, their feet, their base of support. You know how wide their base of support it support Absolutely. it. How, how wide your base of support? Same thing in life, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to move on forward, if you want to be the best that you can be, you have to have a good foundation, like what Maria mentioned, because that is very important. It is not sexy but it's actually very important. I'm not saying Maria and I are not sexy, but you know, you need to have a good foundation. You need to have a good foundation. Again, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate you. Uh, thank you, Maria, for coming over. Uh, thank don't you. go yet because I still have to record you after this, right? Uh, okay. again, uh, let me just close up our show. Again, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Before I keep going, uh, here is her book, 25 Tips for Tackling Knee Issues. And basically, it's how to improve your influence and impact as a DPT student. If you are interested in leveling up, we have that program called the, the Mentor Program, where I teach you how to do the following things. Mentor, M-E-N-T-O-R, is meet a need, educate, network, team, one-on-one, -on -one, and repeat and recurring revenue. Again, thank you very much. I appreciate you. I'm going to play this music. Again, we will see you again when we see you. Oh, don't forget, we have that TV show tonight. I'm going to stream it here. It's going to be live in the Philippines, but I'm so, also going to share it here in our group. Again, thank you, Maria. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for those who watch. I appreciate you. Be awesome. Be great. Be excellent. And I'll see you later. I hope you enjoyed the show. Check out our website at drmikechua.com or alternativehealthcarecareers.com for more information. Again, ACG, be awesome, be great, be excellent. Thank you and hope to see you on our next episode. Goodbye.